Hello and welcome to day three. Today we are going to Hollywood Studios. Um, we're just currently getting ready, or I'm ready and she's getting ready. And while we're waiting, I'll talk you through what it cost us to upgrade to annual passes. Um, for her seasonal pass, it should have been $524.99, um, but because we'd already spent $400 on the ticket, it was $125 to upgrade hers. That was a seasonal pass. The three parks. The three park seasonal pass as well. Um, mine is a preferred three park pass. Uh, that should have been $739. Uh, and I'd paid the $400 already, so it ended up being $340-ish. Yeah. Um, which isn't too bad, um, seeing as we're going to be back next year. For three weeks. Hopefully we're coming back for three weeks next year. Um, it'll be the whole family coming out again, which will be good. Um, and then we're going to look at upgrading them once we come out next year, aren't we? Yeah. To make use so we can use the park for a full three weeks while we're here. Um, we didn't end the vlog last night. It was just it was knackered by the time we got back. Um, being out in the sun all day, it was beating hot. Um, we'd... She's here now. Half ready. But yeah, so we did do the stay and scream. I was a bit sceptical about it because mm. we were queuing for like two and a half hours in the sun. But it didn't end terribly. We managed to get five houses done from quarter past five to about seven o'clock-ish. Mm -hmm. So we did Ghostbusters, um, Goblin's Feast. We did the... Major Suites. Major Suites. We did the museum. And we did the monsters, the eternal bloodline one. Yeah. I can't the exact that house now. The museum was the longest wait, weren't it? That was yeah, about it half was. an hour. The rest of them were pretty much straight walk-ons as um, soon as it yeah. opened up on them rides. So, did stay and scream work how I wanted it to? No, I thought we'd be able to jump straight out of the Ghostbusters queue and go straight into like Insidious or a quiet place. But by the time we got straight through Ghostbusters, Hey, we were out by about half five, but by that point, the queue for Insidious was still an hour long. Mm. Quiet Place was only just opening and was still majorly busy. So we just headed towards the back of the park because we thought, you know what? We're not going to get the rest of the big houses done right now, but at least we did make the most of the time and get quite a few other houses done. Mm. So five houses last night I was quite happy with. Yeah. And we got to try one of the cheeseburger snacks. That was, that was nice. That was really excited too. So it was at the birthday party van and we'll put a picture of the cheeseburger in now. Um, but yeah, when we'd finished those five houses, we went and got a cheeseburger, thought, right, you know, have something to eat, we'll have sugary drink or whatever, you know, mm. get, get your feeling back. And we just died. I don't know whether it's because we'd been out in the park since seven o'clock that morning, or whether it was just a couple of hours sat in the pure sun and the heat for Stay and Scream, just wiped us out. Yeah. So we came back to the hotel, went and got a pizza from the Lowe's Tuck Market downstairs, which was actually pretty good to be. It was a nice pizza. Yeah. Actually, but... um, so we just shared a pizza last night and got in bed and died. Yeah. But that's fine because it means this morning we can go off out to Hollywood Studios. I'm dead excited. Yeah, you've got the lightning lanes for a few I things have, as well, haven't you? And I don't know if you guys have got any advice on these new lightning lanes. We did Genie Plus last year and I thought I'd just about cracked it ready for this year. But no, now they've changed it again. So I've got three lightning lanes booked today. I've got one for the rock and roller coaster because we've still never done that ride. I've got one for Startles and I've got one for Tower of Terror. Mm -hmm. um, I would have liked one for Slinky Dog, but because we are not staying in a Disney hotel, we can only book our lightning lanes three days in advance, which meant that Slinky Dog was completely sold out. Um, which is, I think, I don't know if that's quite fair. I feel like that's quite unfortunate. You're paying $24 per person for three lightning lanes and there's not even a chance that we'd get Slinky Dog today. So no. that's disappointing. Um, I wanted Rise of Resistance on a lightning lane, but that isn't included in the three, uh, the three like multi-park one, whatever it's called. Um, I'm still very new to this, so any tips are appreciated. But um, Rise of Resistance is its own separate lightning lane, which was $22 per person, which is a bit, I don't know if that's a bit steep, but we'll have to see what the queues are like today. So we haven't booked that one yet. I've just booked the multi-lightning lane one. Mm -hmm. um, 
but we'll see. I really do want to do Rise of Resistance, so if if we need to, we might do it while we're there, but I didn't want to book it in advance. in advance if the queues were not going to be, like, ridiculous kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, we'll just see how we go with it, and yeah. if we decide, you know what, we'll book it, it's packed, we'll just do it and take it from there with it. And... <laughs> oh, Danny's already had one, so I can't really open them properly. But we've got Walmart muffins. I'm very mm. excited. They are very, they are very nice, to be fair. Um, I really enjoy a blueberry nah. muffin. That's going to be breakfast on the way to Hollywood Studios. <coughs> and I'm going to try one of your energy drinks. What have you got, the ghost one today? Yeah. We're going for the phase pop today. Ooh. I really enjoyed that one last time I had it. And I like the fact that they're energy drinks with no sugar because I don't really like the full sugar energy drinks. So. Yeah. Yeah, face pop pot is that energy drink of the morning. Right, are you gonna go and finish getting ready now so we can go? Yes. Right, we'll catch you in a bit. in the distance I'm like dying to go so dead quick before we go in we thought we'd show you the little trip that comes up tip that comes up on your Disney app so if you do have the my Disney experience app downloaded it's really helpful not only does it show you wait time but it also gives you help with your car parking so we've come into the park and it automatically just opens on your phone and let me show you on here it says save vehicle location it knows exactly where you are, Hollywood Studios, what parking row you're in, so we're in Jesse, and then it asks you to confirm and select your row, and then once you've done that, you can press confirm and save, and then that means your location for your car parking is saved to your app for the entire day, and if you do forget where you've parked, because their car parks are huge, at least you can just go right back onto your My Disney Experience app, and it's there. The other tip you've got, if you haven't got the app downloaded, is just literally to take a picture of your row or your row number, just put it in your phone and then at least you're not gonna get lost looking for your car later because yeah. we thought we wouldn't and honestly the first couple of times we've been in like disney and universal car parks you're like oh my god where, where did i park because it is just we need huge. that at the hotel because i, I always forget where we're parking about. i know well. that's true actually even the hotel car parking so we're gonna save this in the app now and then we're gonna head in and get our tickets Yeah, we've only ever been here once before, and that was for the 
it after hours event, weren't it? It Back was. In May last year. And that was really good because the queue times were really low. There was free snacks and drinks for the evening. The only thing I would say, though, is that because it's like at night time in the evening, some of the stuff's closed. We didn't get a good feel for the park. I don't know my way around like that I do some of the others. That was resistance, 35 minutes. Mm, well, that's not bad. Shall we? Head over. Yeah. Smugglers run, 10 minutes. Slinky dog, straight to 55 minutes. That's a popular one. So we're just going to go try and get to Rise of Resistance. Yeah, it is still showing like a 35 minute wait. We'll see what it says when we get there. But if, if it stays under that kind of 45 minute mark, then we'll queue for it to save ourselves like $45. Yeah. Um, we might go for a second audit later where we do spend it, but we'll see how this one goes first. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. The problem is we're not really like 100% sure which way to go around here, are we? No, I roughly remember where a few bits are from last time. Yeah, but, but it was um, mainly in the dark last time, so it kind of throws yeah, you off. Yeah, and we've only ever been once before, so we still don't there you go. have to lay the land. Galaxy edge that way. See? So we are walking the right way. I'll give you that one then. Yeah. I thought so. My directions for Disney are pretty good. Just can Just sniff it out. Struggle with your left and your right. <laughs> yeah. There's Star Tours. We'll be on that later. Yes. Ooh. Tell you what, we don't know though. I don't know where all the good like snacks and food places are. No. I mean, we didn't have a quick look at going for like booking a restaurant, didn't we? Yeah. In um, but. We decided against that because we was like, yeah, we'll just go and actually enjoy the day in the park. Yeah, because we've only got one day here. We didn't want to tie ourselves down to like a dining reservation. Yeah. We wanted to kind of more focus on the rides. And then we'll snack and eat in between. But it's a lovely day. It is. It's really nice. And I feel like I'm taking so much more of it in because we're going in the daylight. I know. Well, when we came in the May last year, it was raining as well, weren't it? Yeah, but I think that kind of helped because then it put people off coming to the um, like to the after hours event. Yeah. I love the entrance to Star Wars. That's for two. Probably.
We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, resistance scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded.
crews will meet you outside the wreck. Just got off a uh, rise of resistance. It was really good. The queue time was about 40 minutes, and then obviously it's a bit of a longer ride to get through, yeah. but 40 minutes not too bad for a rise of resistance queue. No, it said 45 minutes when we joined yeah. the queue. Um, and it was about just short of an hour finishing the ride. So, really, really good ride through we had this morning. Yeah, no, um, it was really good. Well worth the wait. And we got a front row, which I appreciate. It doesn't really matter too much on rides, but I just feel like you're taking that little bit more. Oh, it was dead good. Now we're going to go to... Star Tours. And use our lightning lane we had previously booked for it. And we'll let you know how we got on with this one. Yeah, the standby is only 20 minutes, so I'm hoping lightning lane should be pretty much straight through. Yeah. And then... Coffee. 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 Just come off uh, Star Tours and you was the spy. Obviously. Nice little picture came up with you on the screen. I know, I was not expecting it. I was watching the screen and you, Danny was just like tapping me like, to you, like it's me. I'm now Tower famous. Of terror. Which will be going excited. on in a little while. Yeah, we've got a lightning lane for that book in about two-ish hours, so no, two to three hours, something like that. So, we're going to go walk towards uh, Aerosmith Ride, because we've got that as our next lightning lane. Yeah, but on the way... We're going to go and get a coffee, and it's going to be a Joffrey's coffee. coffee. Oh, so excited. <coughs> Just need really to find need a coffee that. this morning, so far, we've not had one, and... You just can't cope without coffee, can you? No, I need oh. morning coffee. Oh. Let's go have a meet round. I think it's going to be one of these stands now. And then we will join you after Aerosmith. Yes. yes or maybe will. with coffee, we'll yeah, see if we get into excited. Yeah. yeah. Let's try and find it now. Just got our iced caramel lattes from Joffrey's. I do really enjoy Joffrey's coffee. Yeah, we do tend to like Joffrey's when we come to Disney. It seems to be like our treat. If not a Joffrey's, a Starbucks. We do enjoy, but needed that. Went for an iced caramel latte. You got the same, didn't you? Yeah. Sat in the shade, just having five minutes to keep it all in. Look at Sarah and Sarah. And then, uh, we also got donut for breakfast. Look at that bad He's boy. big though, so we'll just share it. And this one's mine, what have you got? Ha ha ha. <coughs> oh, I'm trying so much to see what it's like. From what I remember last time, we had one like a year ago in Epcot. It was really good. Yeah. You want that ice cup? No, I want that. You think it's too spicy? Mm. Yeah. That's very nice. Good. So we'll have some donut, drink our coffee, and then we'll go check into our lightning lane for the Rock and Roller Coaster. Really excited about that actually, because we've not done that before. It wasn't open last time we were here. Oh. The terrified of Terra and Terra Leah. Every time I see it, I feel how tall it is. Mm. I do enjoy that ride though. I know. It is a good ride. Stage passes. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh
the roller coaster that was so good like the Aerosmith one yeah um, it's so good that ride like because you don't see any videos of it so you don't know what you're expecting and like when we were going around you're like is it going to go upside down this was like yeah I don't yeah, think it I had heard it went upside down and I said to you didn't I, I was like I hooked my bag over my leg in the front seat well you're like no it didn't go upside down and then we took off and went upside down I was like oh my god it does but it's fine it was really good what a, definitely one of the bigger rides here isn't it so yeah. we enjoyed that I'm glad we went and did that I, we've got a little bit of time now before our next kind of few lightning lanes this afternoon so we're just going to use it as an opportunity to kind of look around the shops taking all the Star Wars land absolutely love this like the whole like theming in Hollywood Studios is amazing like we'll take you around the Star, Star Wars land now and then we're going to go have a look at the Toy Story land again because I love that we've not been into that yet this morning um, and we might grab a drink or a snack while we're there it is really hot it's like the middle of the day now what time is it like 11 12 what's all sense of time it's really hot it's probably about half 11 um so half past 12 half past 12 yeah um, yeah it's not too bad actually like we've been here about three hours now we've done star tours rise aerosmith yeah um and been for a, a coffee so I'm happy with that yeah. gonna go like I said have a look round and then later on we've got Smuggler's Run books we've got Tower of Terror and then Minnie and Mickey's Runaway yeah. Train yeah. Railway Train yeah. that'll be good we've not done that before um, so we'll show you around some of the Star Wars land yeah. I think the theme is incredible drink that's definitely one thing that universal do do better as good as this land is they have yeah. the coke freestyle machines and even if you've not got the cups the waters are free whereas here i don't like the water fountain water here. it does have a you, strange taste you're already fussy with tap water as it is and that's in the uk so you will not you just won't drink it so i brought my backpack this morning filled it with like a few bottles of water so at least that'll kind of keep us hydrated this morning but we'll just do coffees and drinks in between the one thing i really did enjoy bringing for this trip though is my little bag clip so let me come over here and show you out the way ordered one of these off etsy and it's great it attaches both my hat and my ears if i want to to the bag and then i don't have to carry them because i love wearing my ears but i so burn really easily so if it gets like mega sunny and hot later i can put my hat on but i'm not going to sacrifice the ears yet Ooh. it's actually like you walking into star wars this is crazy good like you're not even a particular Star Wars fan and you no. love this land what land's better? this or Harry Potter Ooh. now personally I love Harry Potter more than Star Wars however I think this land is much more impressive yeah. what will be interesting to see though is when the new Epic Universe one opens the Harry Potter and all the theme in there see how that looks oh my god look <laughs> Shop. The whole land is just amazing. It's huge, and this is 
not even all of it yet. Let's go see what we can find. Did good. How much are we in here? Let's have a look. Eighty-eight dollars for Darth Vader. Bucket hats. That's what I should be wearing in this heat. Oh my God! We look at the stormtrooper costumes. It's just magical through here. I'm very busy for a Monday. There's the yeah, Roundup Rodeo. We've heard the food in there, the barbecue is supposed to be quite good. And I'm pretty sure that's the one where they like say Andy's coming and then they like drop to the floor and stuff like that. So that'll be a good one. I do think you have to pre book that in advance though. Because he's Slinky Dog. All the lightning lanes were sold out on that today, so we will have to see if we can squeeze some slinky in. No, there's no one on that one. I'll keep an eye on that. Toy Story Mania, I do enjoy that ride. What's the queue time on that? Yeah, it's the peak of the day now though, isn't it? Oh, for everybody and Jesse, ready for their meats and drinks. That is the only problem with this time of day now, it gets busy and hot. But we'll enjoy taking it in with the atmosphere. Then we're going to go find somewhere cool to sit. We've gone for a quick Toy Story Mania. Definitely going to be in. The only thing I hate about this one is that I feel like my arm aches after it. There we go. Oh, you are joking! I was beating him all the way through. He got me last minute. That's so annoying. So annoying. So annoying. So we've come off Toy Story Mania. We did a mobile food label. Mobile food order. The one is a box because it looks quite good and obviously it's not far to go as well. So it's quick and easy for clutching and pick up. The only feedback. The food looks good, but there's literally no seating and nowhere to sit so we have a new food. So I'm eating lunch. Let me show you what we've got. So we both ordered the grilled cheese and we ordered one with like the kind of tater top side and one with the like soup for dipping and then just some ice waters because it's always good to get. And um, 
some full sugar drinks. She's got a Coke and I went for a phantom orange because it's just so important to stay like hydrated and you know get a bit of sugar in if you need it as well. But it is just hot, so we're gonna get these down and then off to start ours. Give me a try of it with the soup fitters, let's see how good it is. Good, excellent, let's dig in. I love a grilled cheese. Oh my god, stone tree fish. This is so cool. I love that they just do that. Where are they going? So I know we mentioned earlier that there was no, not as many like good water fountains, but we did find one of the bottle refills and he had a good spot there and he said it tastes a bit better than the water fountains. Yeah. Oh, still not a fan though. Cool. Yeah. Well, at least there is water. We've just got some free ice waters though that we're just drinking while we head <coughs> over to Smuggler's Run and then get out of the sun for a little bit again. I do honestly love the Florida weather and it's so nice but the middle of the day can be challenging in the parks. <sighs> Dying to go on Smuggler's Run though. The last time we did it it was dead fun and we brought like we had my mum and dad and Alfie with us and stuff so because there was five of us we got to do it all ourselves this time we're gonna have to work with like strangers and I hope our navigating skills are up to the task what's your favorite position to do on smugglers run you like being the pilot I like just being the one who sits at the back and presses all the buttons but we'll have to fight it out I don't know whether I can have that before we go on Tower of Terror because I'm scared. Come on in. 
Don't be shy. That's right. Everyone to your positions. Ready? And... One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, excellent. You're all waltzing so beautifully together. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Now, let's... did a bit of an update so since we've probably last spoken we did do Hollywood uh, Studios Tower of Terror loved it um, my face <coughs> says otherwise in the picture from the ride but really really enjoyed it we had loads of fun it was probably one of the I mean we've only done it a couple of times before but it's probably one of the, my favourites actually I think it's just good because you don't know what the ride pattern's going to be and where, like how long the drops are and what sequence it is so it's always loads of fun we did another go ride on uh, Rise of Resistance that dropped like a 45 minute queue which I don't even think it took us that long really so that was really great and then we did Mini Mickey's Runaway Railway um, that was the first time we'd done that that's quite fun for a family ride really it was better than I thought um, so we've probably already included a little bit of footage on that for you as well um, so then after we'd done a few more rides in Hollywood Studios it was really hot really humid so we were like great we've got everything smashed out that we want to do we went back to the hotel really quickly just for a few minutes to freshen up clean t-shirts and um we're going out now to Disney Springs to go and get some dinner. So we're thinking Blaze Pizza. We've never tried it before, but we've heard loads and loads of rave reviews. Actually, it's really great. So def definitely worth having a go, I think. Yeah, we'll go and try it. Hopefully it won't be too busy because it is a Monday night. I'm never expe expecting like Disney Springs to be quiet because no matter when we've been, it's always been fairly busy. But the last time when we came, like a year ago, we went on a Saturday night and it was rammed. So I'm hoping it won't be that bad now. Um, oh my God, that sun's like glaring. Um, shall we go and try to get into the place what sells the cookies? <gasps> oh my God, Gideon's. Do you know, I completely forgot about Gideon's until you just said it. Because <coughs> I've been craving a Ghirardelli's for the past few days. So the issue with me and Ghirardelli's, right, is I always see the Ghirardelli signing Universal, like, studios on that side. And I could never find the building where it Not was. on the other side, and then it just disappeared, didn't it? Yeah, and I just never figured it out. And I found the building. Well, Danny found the building this time. And since I mean, he found it was right the, in front of our face the whole time. It was, it was dead obvious once he'd seen <laughs> it, which is ridiculous. But anyway, once we found the building, it's not been open since. So I've been craving a Ghirardelli's ice cream all Sunday. And just haven't had one you did take me for a cold zone the other night though so you'll have seen that and that was excellent but i think gideon's tonight sounds great because one thing we didn't do today we had a great grilled cheese from woody's lunchbox but we didn't do any like sweet snacks or anything at all from the parks nothing yeah, i mean we did eat it on a disney bin <sighs> like yeah you've actually been to disney if you've not eaten around a bit <laughs> it's very true they um, they're doing some renovations at Woody's Lunchbox and there's like hardly any seating at all and obviously we did go for lunch around about half one which is probably you know some of the prime time so there was literally like no tables nothing so we put the tray on top of the bin um, not ideal but the food was fantastic hygiene at its best 
Hey, you've got to do what you've got to do. I know. Girl's hungry. <coughs> you were hungry. I was hungry. Exactly. So, uh, the mobile ordering, though, I'd absolutely recommend. It's the first time we've tried it, but the queues for Woody's Lunchbox were really quite long, whereas mobile order, it was dead easy on the app. You put your order in, you select your time slot, and then you can, it'll just pop up when it's ready, and then you can say, yes, I'm ready, I want my food now. You click it, and then it pings you again when your order is ready to collect, and it took us like two minutes then. So we kind of like skipped all that queuing because I could just order it while we were already in the queue for Toy Story Mania. So save time on that. Definitely don't need to queue a second time just for food. Um, but yeah, <coughs> so we did. We had the grilled cheese and that was great. But now I'm looking forward to dinner. I think it's all the hot weather, all the sweating and all the walking you do. Like 20,000 steps around Hollywood Studios this morning. It's not bad going. Um, and then I want to look in the world of Disney store while we're there. Um, for those of you who don't know us very well, I like to collect aprons. <laughs> I've weird collector's item, but I like baking, so it works for me. So I have a collection of aprons from like loads of different places we visited all across Florida and stuff like that. So like NASA, different kind of like universal Disney ones, stuff like that. So I like to look out and see if there's anything good and new and exciting. Um, so I'll be checking the Disney store for that one. I definitely think a Gideon's is in order. And then we can see on what side of the fence we sit. Do we like it or do Use we not? Right because he might be people go, oh, it's the best cookie I've ever had. And then the other end, it's, yeah, it worked very nice. It's very true. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. Some people rave about it. And some people, you know, weren't so keen. Oh, God, bloody hell, me and my camera skills. There we go. You're back in the picture. All right. <laughs> You're welcome. But, yeah, um, I don't know how the queuing system works at Gideon's either because I've seen some people physically queue and then sometimes I've heard there's a virtual queue. Anyway, I mean, it's probably too late for us by the time we see this, but if you have any future tips and tricks for getting into Gideon's at a good time and not having to queue, let us know and we'll look into it this evening for those of you who haven't been before and see what our take on that's going to be. Um, so that'll be exciting. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll catch you in Disney Springs. I think we're going to go, I'm assuming we'll go for Blaze first, I think. Yeah. Dinner first? Sounds good. Dinner first, then Gideon's, and then the World of Disney Star. In Blaze, we've ordered the spicy pepperoni pizza, so we're just waiting for that to arrive. We also ordered the cheesy garlic bread, and this looks amazing. I'm assuming that's some sort of like marina marinara dipping sauce. I will find out for you now. I'm sure you will. Danny loves garlic bread. Let me know, tell me how good it is. I won't like it, will I not? Out of ten, right in. Ooh, I'm interested now. Nine. Nine. Ooh, excellent. And we ordered the pizza and this cheesy garlic bread, and it only cost oh, and two drinks. It cost like twenty three dollars or something like that. That was really good, like really good. So very impressed. I'm gonna dig into some now while we wait for the pizza. 
displays. A little bit chaotic when you came in, but I don't know if that's just because we don't know how it works really yet. Um, and the panic of then choosing your pizza when you don't know what was on offer. But they were really nice. The food's come out fairly quick for the cheesy garlic bread, just waiting on the main pizza now. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll put that on when it arrives. But for now, I'm going to tuck in for the garlic bread. How's the garlic bread? Honestly, excellent. Like, really good. I know. Uh, I knew it was going to be good. You're right, it really was good. And now we can throw it over the pizza as well. It looks very good and looks quite spicy. It does look spicy. <coughs> Go on, try a slice. Let's see how hot this is. You're better with slices than I am. So I think it's the hot sauce, but it'll be the chili drizzle. It's good, but it does have a bit of a kick to it. Is it the best pizza you've ever had? It's it's right up there. The bait is really good. It's like crispy. Oh my god, that sauce has got a kick to it. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for it. <laughs> Tuck in now. I did ask for a spicy, but that's got loads of jalapenos on. So have a field day with this. Well, I did want a spicy pizza. We'll let you know how it is once we've finished it all. That was amazing. It really was. All gone. Final last piece for her to eat the garlic that's bread. On fire though. Highly, highly recommend if you've never been before. This is our first time and we'll be definitely coming back here again. Delicious. Mm. Solid 9 out of 10. Yeah. I think if we got it again, it's like you said, we wouldn't have the hot honey on the mm. pizza. It was the hot chilli oil. Hot chilli oil. Uh, yeah. It was nice, but it a bit it's a bit too much for you. Yeah, I'm more <coughs> like a medium spice gal. So, jalapenos oh. are usually kind of like the limit. Yeah, no, it was very nice that. Highly, highly recommend. Yeah. Look, there's these springs at night. There's music everywhere to look up. Loads of bars, restaurants. But it's still quite chill out. You guys join in? One more time? <laughs> she think I was going to get that out of it. Believe. Don't have a bit of in that. I'll have to try that one day. And just down this street is Gideon's. How about the queue? Oh my god. Let's have a look at how bad that queue is. Yeah, so just arrived at Gideon's. How far down does this queue go? Because I really did want to try a cookie. It's Gideon's Bike I mean, we've queued for longer. So we queued for longer. But how far round does it go? And is it worth the queue? This is the issue. Are we doing it? No. <laughs> I'm not queuing for a cookie. Well, in um, away you go, I don't know. But that, I ain't queuing. That's your answer then. 40 minutes. So, off to Walmart? Yeah. Off to Walmart we go. Yay! Yay! I like Walmart. But plus, we do actually need like waters and stuff because it's been really hot and I like taking them out with me to Animal Kingdom and Disney. Are we actually going the right way here? I have no idea. I'm just walking now. I am slightly disappointed. You won't queue for a Gideon's. However, I have made him queue for rides with me all day. So. I'm not queuing. Yeah. For a it is probably a bit longer for queue for, for the cookie. But if you've tried one and you think it's worth it, let me know. So then I can convince him next time to queue for the cookie. 
So we've just been to Walmart and now we're back in the room. We were gonna vlog around Walmart tonight, but it was really, really busy and it wasn't the biggest of Walmarts. We did, however, manage to get a fairly decent haul between the last time we went and this one. And I know we said we were gonna show you guys what we got, so I thought now was a good time to do it. I don't know why, but Daddy's decided now is the ideal time to slide in behind the cane. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's because he decided to get changed as I was like going to show you guys what we've bought. Obviously, it can't be normal for two minutes, can he? Anyway, let me show you guys what we've got. I'll spin you around. So considering we weren't at the Walmart like super centers, we managed to get a fairly decent haul. Fanta oranges, because in Florida, they're actually just the best and my favorite. Although I'm sure it says doesn't contain any actual orange juice. No, it's like 200 calories a bottle of <laughs> Yeah, orange. so I can't say it's healthy for you. So it's just as well we only have it on holiday. Waters, because bottled water in Florida, for some reason, you, you need a mortgage to buy. Um, my absolute favourite are these sweet Southern Heat barbecues. So these ladies are coming home with me. We also love the Cheetos. I'm going to try the dill pickle ladies. These are supposed to be good as well. Um, the blueberry muffins are just for breakfast while we're here. M&M's, the crunchy cookie, again, one of my favourites. The Milky Ways are all for my dad. They're his favorite, so we're bringing him back some snacks. Uh, we want to try the new Twix cookie dough. I'll say new. I have seen this before, but I don't think I've ever tried it. So this will be a nice little tester. Then Chips Ahoy, a selection for us and for Alfie back home, because he loves cookie as well. So we've got some Candy Blast, some Hershey's, and then just some of the originals as well. Got some barbecue Pringles to try. And then drinks wise, we have already started our selection of energy drinks, but here's what's left. So we've got one of the new Ghost Sour Pink Lemonade, the Sour Patch Kids Raspberry, the new Monster Ultra Fantasy Ruby Red. So that looks good. And then the C4 Starburst flavor. And then for in the morning, I've got a double caramel espresso iced coffee. Do you reckon it's going to actually taste like ice cream? Well, it is a Magnum one, so I hope so. Magnums are like a proper, like, elite level ice cream, so it better have do. Mm. But yeah, so here is our haul, a lot of which we're going to be taking back. A couple of bits we might snack on while we're here. I think we might try that twice. All the drinks will probably be gone by the time we go home. The drinks will be gone. We may have to do another trip if you want to take any of them back. But these are what I'm most excited for when I get home. I'm not going to eat these here. But the share bags of the sweet Southern Heat barbecue. Oh, they were so good. Mm. But yeah, we're going to unpack, put this all away now. Unpack, uh, repack, <laughs> put this all away. And then shower in bed because it's been a very long day. So let me spin you again. I'm back and Danny's hiding. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna shower and get ready because tomorrow morning we're up nice and early, 6 a.m. ready for a nice early start at Animal Kingdom. Very excited, we've never been before. Hello. There you go, you can be in it there. Very excited, we've never been before, so it's our first time. Um, we've got some Lightning Lane books as well, um, but the first thing we want to do in the morning is get in nice and early and attempt Flight of Passage. So, very excited and we'll see how tomorrow goes. Thank you for all watching today. If you liked our blogs and managed to make it this far through our day and through our journey. Please like. Please like, subscribe, leave us a comment. Um, ask any questions you like and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.